everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Megan and this is another episode of Wrapped Up where I have wrapped up some of my books. At one point this was all of my books, but now it's a small percentage of my books. I unwrap one and I read it in a reading vlog in this video. Out of kindness to myself and my 2020 run reading slump, what I've been doing in the last couple episodes of this is that I have been unwrapping two and letting myself choose between them. So that's what we're gonna do again today because the reading slump hasn't ended. Don't get me started. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I'm gonna go for this, I think, for- oh, well, there, there she goes. goes. This is like a hardback, but a small hardback. So let's see. Oh, okay. This is Fable by Adrian Young. Now this is short. So like, it's only 330 pages, but it's like a very small book. This is a Little Mermaid retelling. I got this from a fairy loot box. I still haven't read any fairy loot books. So this could be a really good, do I just go for this? I think I'm gonna unwrap another one just to be sure. But part of me might just go for this because it seems like a really easy read. But I don't know if I've heard very good things about it as well. I feel like it's had really mixed reviews. So let's unwrap another one. Another one. Another one. Should I go for this one? I'm going to go for whatever this is. Let's unwrap a white one. Usually I try and make myself not unwrap the white ones at the moment. Oh. Oh. This is The Memory Wood by Sam Lloyd. This is a thriller about this guy who's lived in this wood for as long as he can remember. And a girl there is being held by someone else, but he doesn't want to tell the police that she's being held there because it's his like only friend that he's ever had come into the wood. Like obviously he's like not quite with it. But um, yeah, this was sent to me by the publisher. So do I go for that? I think this would be easier for me to pick. I think in terms of rating, I'd probably be more likely to rate this higher. I think you should go with the memory one, because I think when you get them to sort of, what, what is it, a thriller one you said? Yeah, it's like a thriller. Yeah, you like them, you usually find them easy page turns. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with the memory word because I think I'll probably be more likely to rate this high. So we're gonna go for this. One week later. So it has been a week since I last spoke to you. I have not read a lot in that time. <laughs> oh no. This has now gone downhill. I'm still, uni, fuck it. Like honestly, fuck it. I actually changed my mind. I started Fable because I'm also currently still reading, having started this at the start of March, House of Leaves for the Literary Dead Book Club run by Books and Lala, which I'm co-hosting. This was March's book. I am 105 pages in. Now the thing is after like page 150, ish 130 it does get a lot easier to read there's a lot of like blank pages after that and i have read 50 pages at the end i felt like the memory word was similar in terms of its anxiety inducingness which is how this is making me feel i'm already very anxious with uni and i find it hard to read it for a long period of time because it just like increases my anxiety i am enjoying it but that's why i haven't got very far so i chose to read fable instead because i felt like the memory word was too similar to House of Leaves and I needed something a bit lighter. Now, <laughs> I'm a hundred pages in. I, it's very boring. It's boring. You're joking. Not another one? Oh, for God's sake, I can't honestly, I can't stand this. I, I literally don't care. Like I could DNF it, but we're not going to because I don't, I, because it, it's such an easy book to read like I'm just like let's just do it let's just do it let's just read it I don't think this is a Little Mermaid retelling I think I was bullshitting on that front where I think I just saw water and red hair and assumed it was a Little Mermaid retelling if it is I don't see how like I don't see how so basically Fable is our main character and she was abandoned by her father on this kind of island many years ago and has survived by herself and now she has gotten off the island on a ship of this mysterious young captain. <laughs> Very convenient. <laughs> Can you stop insinuating things, please? <laughs> She's on his ship and he's taking her to the Narrows so that she can basically confront her father. He doesn't know that, but that's why she's there. How have we been through a third of this book and literally nothing has happened? I don't understand. I 
genuinely, this book ain't it. It's like a 2.5, I would say now. It's just boring. I'm struggling to read it sometimes. Like, I don't know. If my focus right now is just bad. Like, we can just accept that. But I'm having to read sentences over and over and over again to understand. I feel like the word flow isn't great between the, the words. <laughs> Yeah, I just feel like it's very like stoppy and starty, the characterization, the characters isn't great, it just feels like bland. It feels like, if I was to equate this to a food, I was going to say white bread, but even white bread is more interesting. You've been very, very harsh. Nice to meet you, Kelly. Very harsh. I thought to make ourselves a bit happier, we would just quickly unbox the March fairy loot. I did start opening it days ago. And then I thought, hang on, no, we're gonna save this for a vlog. So I haven't actually looked at anything. The theme this month is Frozen Fables, which I'm very excited for, as I think we're gonna get some Bear and the Nightingale things. So let's just grab the first thing we see. Oh, there's a lot of things. This is gonna be a mug, I'm guessing. Oh my God. <laughs> It's Bear and the Nightingale. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. If you don't know the Bear and the Nightingale, it's one of my favorite, it's probably my favorite fantasy series. Turn it down, bitch. Oh my god, this is about to be my mug. This is about to be the mug I use every day of my life. Oh my god, I love you. It's Vasya. Look at them. Oh my god. Oh, then we've got a notebook. So it's got like a rose on the front and this like gradient pattern. That's very cute. It's by, by Winter Song by S.J. Jones. Haven't read that. If you have, let me know if I'd like it. Then we've got a headband. I'm not going to try and fuck my hair up right now. Then we've got, oh, we got some sockies inspired by even the darkest sea. Cute, right? Oh, we've got a phone ring holder. Inspired by, is this Winterwood? All of these books are books that I have considered reading. So let me know if you've read Winterwood. That was one that I wanted for a long time. I'm really excited if it's gonna be like a wintry book, like the Baron and Nightingale. Ooh, oh my God. Ooh, oh, you f Okay, so the book is The Bright and the Pale by Jessica Rubinowski. I hope I haven't butchered that. Tasman from Tea Books and Tasman sent me a picture of this, like, couple months ago now and was like have you heard about this book it sounds so interesting it's kind of like the bear and the nightingale inspired and I was like oh my god I'm so excited so I've been really excited for this she found out about it because she works at fairy loot you sneaky sneaky girl I see you so I think this is like a Russian inspired by Russian folklore wintry backdrop filled with fables romance tragedy magic and monsters it's such a beautiful cover. We have got gorgeous sprayed edges, which are glittery. And then on the backdrop of this, we have got an art print, which is so pretty. Oh my God. Okay, I'm really, really excited to read this. Maybe it'll be one I pick up soon. I think actually I have a video idea, which I had the other two books for. So I think this will be the third book in that video. That won't be for like months until I've got my shit together. <laughs> But then we're going to go all out on reading vlogs. Those of you that love reading vlogs, I'm just going to fucking go all out. I've got like 200 reading vlog ideas. So thank you, Fairy Link, for sending me this. They do send it to me for free in order to show you guys. And thank you so much. I love this. I'm super excited to read it. Now, I'm going to go continue with Fable. And I'll let you know what I think when I read like another 100 pages. wearing this jumper the last time I spoke to you? I have no idea. It's been a long time again. I just don't want to read it. Ah! But that's quite dramatic. I am now two thirds of the way in to this book, to Fable. Nothing has fucking happened still. There is, there's zero plot to this book other than this girl wanting to sail, fucking uh, sail across the sea and find her dad and this bull like there's no plot there's no plot other than we're at sea we're at sea everyone fuck okay i don't want to be i don't want to be mean right there's been a lot of discussions i feel like recently around like reviewers versus author spaces i know a lot of effort went into this 
like someone, this was someone's life for a period and this isn't me. I am, listen, <laughs> we know in all my videos, I'm slightly dramatic, slightly, slightly. <laughs> okay. This isn't to offend. This is for entertainment purposes and it's a review. You know what I mean? So we can we can talk about what I don't like. So I could forgive the no plot if there were two things. Number one, if the characters were good. <laughs> but there's no characterization. There's, okay, how many characters? So we have our main character and we have the characters on the ship. There's West, there's Willa, and then there's three other guys. One of them has a bit more of like a characterization to him. These two, <laughs> these two, I don't know who the fuck they are. I don't know the difference between them. They have no characterization. And even the ones who I could like name, there's not much there. Like there's, there's not, I think coming from reading um, Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom, where like what that does so well is character. Like the characters are so amazing. I'm like, well, this is just, they're not, they're not even characters. Do you know what I mean? Like there's not even any characters. And secondly, if the writing was like something I enjoyed, but it's not, I am reading, right, sometimes, and we end up, I can't envisage this. Like we end up, <laughs> oh my God, I hate it. Oh, imagine we're on a street, right? She's on a street and suddenly we're climbing up some ropes onto a ship or some shit. And I'm like, how did we end up here? Like, I can't follow this book. It's beyond even not being able to envisage it. It's like, we're fucking taking left turns every couple seconds. Like, I j it's generally not very readable to me. Like, I generally have no fucking clue what's going on. I agree, I have had it. And I'm so, you know I'm, what I have? It. It. I'm reading it and the words just aren't flowing. Like, the, this is something I can't explain, but I've spoken about this before. I have a very particular thing about the words flowing, right? And like, my brain, is just, I, I very rarely have this with books. I have this like maybe one in 30 books I have a, I've ever had this problem with, where the words aren't in the right order for my brain to like compute them. So I'm like, what, do you ever have this? Am I going insane? This is a problem I have sometimes with books because I'm very particular about like how the words like feel. This is, okay. <laughs> I'm like reading this, I'm like, I actually have no idea what's happening. I actually have no idea happening there were two pages just now that I was like wow we're really this is the best we've been yet because I could read it like I could actually understand what was happening why it was happening the dialogue was pretty good that's all we've had it's generally like it's a two star definitely I'm like is this a one star is it a one star? Girl, I just can't take this. It's too much. Give my pocketbook, I'm leaving. But we all know 2021 hasn't been my year for reading and content. I know I've been letting you down a bit. We're gonna, don't fucking worry. We're gonna go hard. We're gonna go balls to the wall in summer. As soon as uni is over, oh my God, when I tell you I have the rest of the year planned out. I have so many video ideas that I just can't do because I don't have the time or energy right now. But I think I've only got like five weeks left of uni. So once that happens, I'm gonna be a better person. But, <laughs> but I think we can all recognize like, I haven't loved books. I haven't loved that many books. I've given a few five stars out, but not many. I haven't been reading that much. So I think we can always understand, um, I'm not talking very well. Sound a bit like, who knows? Who knows what she's up to? No, I'm not up to anything. I just had pasta. Um, <laughs> what the fuck am I saying? What I'm saying is, <laughs> some of it may be me, but well, I really don't think it is. I <laughs> just like generally don't think I would like it whenever I read it. But I am putting that disclaimer out there that some of it may be me. I'm gonna finish it, but it's not good. I genuinely don't understand a single thing that's happening. So yeah, I'm gonna get in bed and read because I have to finish this in the next couple of days. I also need to finish House of Leaves in the next couple of days. I better shut the fuck up. So I'm gonna give it one star. <laughs> no, that sounds bad guys. And forgive me for saying it, but that's how I felt. It was not good, but I've already said all that. I don't wanna keep harping on about how I didn't like this book because 
it just feels a bit negative. Like, I feel like we've had two on the trot bad wrapped up episodes. We've had a two star and a one star now. So I'm just not, I'm just very unhappy. <laughs> so I don't want to keep being negative. Like, I feel like you don't come here for negativity. I don't want to keep going on about how I hate everything. But regardless, uh, one star. <laughs> so this may be, if you care, this may, I may say some like slightly, very, very mild spoilers because it's a bit difficult to talk about it because like there's nothing to talk about. So if you care, thanks for watching this far. Nice to see you. I'll see you in a couple days. Anyway, so there's like a romance which develops in the final third of this. We all knew it was going to happen. This is why I say it's mild spoilers because like you go into this book knowing that's going to happen, but it came from nowhere. These characters had maybe said like five sentences to each other so far the entire book. You could genuinely fit, I think, onto two pages all of their dialogue throughout the whole rest of the book until, you know, it happens. Like, they didn't, they didn't, there was no chemistry. There was no chemistry. They didn't know each other. They hadn't, sp like, and suddenly you have, no, I'm sorry, but no. It's not realistic. It's just not realistic. <laughs> it's not realistic. It's just not realistic. No ending to this. Like, it didn't go anywhere. You know how in a traditional book, and here's the thing, like, books don't have to always adhere to the traditional format, but it wasn't like we were rising towards some, like, denouement and then, you know, calming down. Like, nothing happened. Like, there wasn't, like, an, there was no... <laughs> There was nothing we were aiming towards, there was no ending, there was nothing like, there was nothing, nothing happened at the end. Like, do you know what I mean? There wasn't that big ending, or any ending, or any kind of like resolution. Do I wish I had read the memory word? Yeah, probably. I reckon I probably would have liked this more. But at the same time, House of Leaves was heavy, and so I don't feel like mentally I would have thanked myself for that either. So Wrapped Up was just unkind to us for another month. Like, what? Why have we had two terrible months in a row? When, like, when I first did this, I got so many five stars. Like, my December, that first run of it was so good. And now we're out here getting two and one stars. It just shows you the luck of the draw. So, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, sorry it was sad, again, and I didn't like the book. If you've gotten to the end, comment any kind of, like, sea emojis, like a fishy or sea plants or anything like that and let me know if you have read this because I'll be interested on your thoughts I know it was like a kind of popular book in the past year or so or how long has it been out six months something like that um yeah let me know if you've read this and I'll see you very soon in another video bye